I got a Jamie Foxx story I want to tell you that deeply affected me on a personal level. That'll have you thinking different about who you think Jamie Foxx really is. Let's get into some of this straight game. Life is like some cards. It's not what you dealt with, but how you play it. Remember they used to laugh at a brother Welcome back guys, welcome back It's your boy Delray Richardson, Platinum Artist, Platinum Songwriter Straight Game TV, thank you for tuning in I appreciate your time uh, Do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button notification Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already And like I always say, if you would like to be one of the first people notified When I drop some of this straight game uh, Please do me a favor uh, Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to get right into it uh, a Jamie Foxx story that I'm, I'm going to share with you guys today, man. Um, recently, we got news that, you know, Jamie had some kind of medical incident. And I hope that he's doing well. Um, my prayers go out to him and his family. Um, and, and I'm going to get into it like this. So um, for most people who who were around back then, and I'm going to say around about, you know, the, 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 the 90s, if you will. The, the early the late 90s if you will um you knew about the mondrian hotel and like i said if you if you've never stayed at the mondrian hotel or you've never been there um in the summertime the mondrian hotel was popping and the mondrian hotel was uh, located right next to the house of blues right across the street from the comedy store and um and so when the house of blues would have concerts you know, from being from anybody, you know, they would just have, you know, it could be Anita Baker, it could be Frankie Beverly and Mays, it could be whoever, you know, everybody performed at the House of Blues. Usually, the artists would stay at the Mondrian. And most of the people who were in town, if it was summertime, they would stay at the Mondrian. Because the Mondrian used to have this, um, they had this, uh, uh, they still do, uh, had this pool and it would be popping. This is a picture of what it would be like, you know, on any given summer day, you know, music, you know, drinks, food, you could order food. It was it was there was the place to be, you know, um, to stay there as well as to go there, you know, just for like the little day parties that they would have as well as before or after a concert. So on this particular day, um, I was you know, like I said, you know, um, Hollywood, uh, uh, the House of Blues was located on. Um, Sunset Boulevard and so was our studio right 7188 Sunset Boulevard and so on this particular day um, a buddy of mine friends of mine were in town they were staying at the Amandrian so I, I would go up there you know I went up there to the uh, to you know come up there to check them out you know they had the restaurant inside there where the pool was adjacent to it and so I went in sat down had something to drink something to eat and but then for some reason I had to go back to the studio and so I went back to the studio, but I was coming back to the Mondrian later on because I forgot it was somebody I can't remember who was performing at the House of Blues. There was a concert there. It was like a, I think it was a Saturday. It was a Saturday. Yeah, Saturday, you know, Saturday night. It was it was it was off the hook. And so I um, went to the studio. Then I came back to the Mondrian. So as I'm walking into the Mondrian, um, I just, you know, walk back. They were by the pool area, if you will. And so I'm just walking back. And the guy at the front desk was like excuse me sir where are you going i'm like um my friends are staying here and um you know they're you know i'm going back i was just here not too long ago and um i'm you know going back in he was like you, you can't go back there i'm like what you mean i can't go back there he was like you can't go back there i was like what are you talking about he was like well you know you have to call your friends and tell them to come out here and come to get you i'm like i'm not, I'm not calling nobody I'm, I'm going back there because I just came and they're staying here. You know, what I'm saying if I go back there and get them and I can bring them out here, you know, um, then, you know, that's, you know, I, I'll do that. Well, no, sir, you can't go back there. I'm like, what? And and th the fact of the matter is, as he was saying that to me, right, there were people, right, of all different other races going in, white people, you know, mostly. And they were just walking back there. He ain't say nothing to them. Nothing. Right. So I didn't really trip. I didn't really trip at all. I was like, OK, 
I said, well, I'll wait right here. You know, hopefully, you know, I can see them and they'll see me standing out here. They'll come and get me, right? So all of a sudden, as we're having this conversation, Jamie Foxx walks in, right? And he, Jamie overhears, you know, here's a picture of me and Jamie uh, uh, at uh, this club was called um, The Bar One. This, this picture right here was taken at The Bar One. And so, so Jamie comes in and Jamie hears the conversation going on and he hear me, you know, going at it. I don't know what Jamie uh, identified in that moment, seeing me dealing with this situation from that perspective. Right. I was like, I was like, so what's up, Jamie? He was like, ain't nothing. Um, he was like, what's going on? I was like, yo, and I told him what was going on. And um, so, you know, as Jamie heard us conversating, Jamie pulled out his credit card. And he says, he drops it on the counter. He says, Fox, Warner Brothers, and he with me, meaning that I was with him. And as I think back on that, right, I was like, wow, I didn't, I don't know what Jamie saw in that moment that made him do that. He didn't have to do that. You know what I mean? Basically dropping his credit card. And this is at the time when Jamie Foxx was still shooting uh, the Jamie Foxx show. And, and that hints to him putting the credit card on the counter saying Fox, his last name, Warner Brothers, right? I guess I don't know if Warner Brothers had some kind of um, a corporate account with the Mondrian or whatever. Um, you know, Fox, Warner Brothers, and he with me. And the dude behind the counter, he just turned bloodshot. Red. He said, oh, OK, Mr. Fox, he said, he said you know, OK, uh. He said, hey, man, you can you can you can go back now and and blah, 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 and so on and so forth, you know, and it was, you know, the, the funny part about that, it was so sad because it was like it wasn't no reason why he did that other than I can think that he just it was, you know, I guess to me for me or whatever, you know, I don't know. You know, I, I really can't say I'm only the guy who who tried to pull that move or, you know, you can't go back there or whatever did that. And like I said, only he could answer to what that really was. But how I took it is he was being racist. You know what I mean? And then when Jamie came in and, and did that, dropped the credit card, Fox, Warner Brothers, boom, he was with me. And, you know, dude kind of switched his whole program around. He was like, oh, okay, yeah, you can go back. And then Jamie actually, he came back there and I thanked him. I was like, thank you, man. I appreciate that. He was like, man, no problem, man. Go ahead, man. It's all good. You know, and um, yeah. So that's my, my, my Jamie, one of my Jamie Foxx stories, man. Like I said, um, you know, Jamie is a great guy, good dude, um, funny, as, as well as all of the other things. But, yeah, he's a hell of a guy, man. So I, I just wanted to share that Jamie Foxx story, man, um, because it meant so much at that particular time. You know, you, you, you in Hollywood and another brother who's really doing something, um, you know, see somebody going through some kind of difficulty or what it would appear to be difficulty at that particular time um extending that love and that and that and and sharing a little bit a little bit of his power you know what i mean at that particular time and saying you know um which was a small thing you know to most people but to me at that particular time it was a power move you know, boom credit card on the, on the counter you know fox warner brothers he with me to cut all of the cut all of the nonsense out, you know what I mean. We're gonna cut all of that out because I think Jamie identified what was going on too, you know what I mean. And um, that wasn't the, if that wasn't the first time that Demondrian had been accused of something like that, you know what I mean. Um, that came a little bit later, if you will, but yeah, definitely. So that story right there, man, is uh, my Jamie Fox story, and I just want to say uh, shout out to Jamie Fox, his family, and hopefully, uh, brother, you getting well, and uh, you know, take care of yourself. Your boy Del Rey, straight game.